Hey guys, Amir here and you are watching Electrical Infinity. I am back with a new video and in this video I am going to discuss about HVAC plant working. So this in this video I am going to explain about the HVAC plant of India's biggest mall. This one is a HVAC plant model of India's biggest mall. So first of all here you can see the equipments or materials we are using in this plant. So we are using 5 chillers of 750TR, these are the chillers and we are using 5 chillers of 750TR. We are using 6 condenser pumps, each of 90 kilowatt. So here you can see these are condenser pumps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 condenser pumps each of 90 kilowatt, right. After that we are using primary pump of 55 kilowatt each, these are also 6 in number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After that we are using 6 secondary pumps each of 110 kilowatt. these are the secondary pumps and these are of 110 kilowatt each, ok. Also we are using 24 cooling towers each of 7.5 kilowatt. I have drawn here 5 cooling tower only as there was no space left over here. Now let's begin the explanation of this HVC plan. So here you can see we have condenser, condenser pump and a cooling tower. So red line means hot water and blue lines means cool water. So as you can see here the cool water from the cooling tower is pumped into condenser with the help of condenser pump. So here you can see the cool water from all these cooling towers enters this condenser pump and this water is pumped to the condenser as you can see here. After the pumping of water, cool water into the condenser, the heat exchange takes place between the cool water and the condenser refrigerant. After that the water gets heated up and the refrigerant gets cool and the heated water is again transferred to the cooling tower as you can see here. Again the hot water is cooled in the cooling tower and this cool water is transferred to condenser with the help of these condenser pumps. This each pump is of 90 kilowatt and we have used 6 condenser pumps. So this one is the setup for cooling of refrigerant in the condenser with the help of cooling tower and condenser pumps. So we are cooling the refrigerant in the condenser with the help of cooling water of the cooling tower. Okay. So this one is just a one setup and this one is a whole setup of the HVAC plant so I am going to explain this also. This one is a condenser, this one is a chiller and this one is a cooling tower here and a pump, a condenser pump for uh, pumping of cool water into this condenser and this one is a compressor and a motor for compressing of refrigerant in the condenser. So now let's begin the working of it. The cool refrigerant from the condenser is present in the shell type. So here you can see this one, this section is a shell type as you can see here, this section is a shell type and here you can see this one is a tube and this one is a tube type. So the refrigerant in condenser is present in the shell type and the water from the cooling tower is present in the tube type, okay. The cool water from the cooling tower is sent to this condenser pump and from this condenser pump the cool water is pumped into the condenser as you can see here. So the cool water is present in the tube type and the refrigerant in the, of the condenser is present in the shell type as you can see here. So there is a heat exchange take place between the refrigerant and the cool water. So after the heat exchange take place the refrigerant gets cooled down and there will, there will be a rise in temperature of the cool water. After this cool water gets heated up it is again then transferred to the cooling tower for cooling of this water. As you can see here this one is a red line and this means the hot water is transferred to this cooling tower for cooling of this hot water. Then again this water is cooled down and again it is uh, sent to this condenser pump and again the co water, cool water is sent to the condenser for the cooling of refrigerant. So this, wa this was the setup I, I was about to explain about the cooling tower working. So now let's begin to the next part. Coming to the chiller as you can see here, the refrigerant is present in the tube type. Okay, This refrigerant which was present in the shell type in the condenser, it is now present in the tube type as you can see here the refrigerant is getting transferred from here and with the help of expansion valve to the tube type of the chiller okay and the water is present in the shell type of the chiller okay the water which is used for cooling of the entire building is present in the shell type of the chiller as you can see here the water in the chiller shell side gets cooled down due to the heat transfer between the uh, water in the chiller shell side and the refrigerant in the chiller tube side Okay, so the refrigerant after rise in temperature due to the heat transfer is sent back to the compressor as you can see here, it is sent back to the compressor. 
so the hot refrigerant is again sent back to the temperature after heat transfer the compressor again compresses the high temperature refrigerant and send it to the condenser and send it to the condenser as you can see here and send it to the condenser for cooling of refrigerant where heat exchange take place between the refrigerant and the cool water of the cooling tower so here you can see the heat exchange take place in the condenser between the refrigerant present in the shell type and the cooling water present in the tube type whereas in chiller the refrigerant is present in tube type and the cooling water of the entire building is present in the shell type so, so the heat exchange in the chiller take place between the refrigerant in the tube type and the water in the shell type okay the chill water from the chiller as you can see here is sent to the secondary pump of 110 kilowatt each here we are using six secondary pumps of 110 kilowatt from the secondary pump the water is circulated to the entire building for cooling so this is a seven floor building and after cooling of air of this building the water gets heated up and it is again and this high temperature water is again pumped back with the help of primary pump as you can see here with the help of primary pump and is again sent back to the chiller as you can see here so this high temperature water is pumped back with the help of this primary pump and sent back to the chiller for cooling as you can see here and again this cycle is repeated the water gets cooled the water gets heated this is how the HVAC plant work now I'm going to again explain you this HVAC plant working here so here you can see here the cool water from the cooling tower is pumped into the condenser with the help of condenser pump this one is a cool water and after this cool water enter in the condenser tube side the refrigerant there is a heat transfer take place between the high temperature refrigerant and the cool water so the high temperature refrigerant gets cooled down and the cool water gets heated up and the water after getting heated up is again transferred to the cooling tower for cooling and the cycle is repeated again and again for cooling of refrigerant in the condenser okay after the refrigerant is cooled down as you can see here is sent to the chiller with, with the help of expansion valve for a decrease in the pressure of the refrigerant and in this chiller the refrigerant is present cool refrigerant is present in the tube type and the hot high temperature water is present in the shell type so there is a heat exchange take place between the low temperature refrigerant and a high temperature water this high temperature chiller water gets cooled down and the refrigerant gets heated up a refrigerant after getting heated up it is again transferred to this compressor for compressing of this refrigerant and this high temperature refri high temperature high pressure refrigerant is sent back to the condenser as you can see here and again the uh, this uh, heat transfer take place between the high temperature refrigerant and co cooling tower water okay so the cool water from the chiller is sent to the secondary pump as you can see here and with the help of this secondary pump the cool water is circulated to the entire building this cool water after cooling of air of the entire building gets heated up and this heated water is again transferred to the secondary pump is again pumped by the secondary pump and is again transferred to the chiller sent back to the chiller for cooling this hot water is again cooled in a chiller okay so this is how the HVAC plant works friends and I'm going to upload the video practical video of this HVAC plant in the future so this one is a HVAC plant of the India's biggest mall under construction and I'm going to upload it as soon as possible I get the permission about uploading this video so thanks for watching this video guys hope you have liked this video share this video with your friends who are doing mechanical and electrical engineering thanks for watching this video friends if you want to learn electrical up to infinite hit the subscribe button